Guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Ireland PA series. We're doing these are the Ooh. best Irish IPAs that someone, someone in a beer store in <laughs> Ireland gave my mom's friend. So they gotta be good. Yeah, they've got. I mean, they he wouldn't give them anything bad. And, and so far, they've been excellent. So if you yeah. haven't checked out videos one and two, make sure you go back and do that. Check a little card up there. Um, but this one is. This one's called Full Sail by Galloway B. Galloway B. It's probably Scottish, but it's best. Nah, it's Irish. Glub, 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 glub. Uh, so, Corey, this is a dry hopped IPA, uh, similar to video one, which yes. was uh, O'Hara's. And yes. uh, so we don't know a whole lot about it other than what it is. Yeah. And so, I'm, I'm, so far, we've been very impressed by the quality of the IPAs we've had from Ireland. Mm -hmm. They've been low ABV, but pretty high in flavor and very solid beers, really drinkable, very nice beers. Hoping for the same. I mean, I know we don't do appearance too often, but really nice color, yeah. a nice copperish sort of amber color with a really great head on it. And I'm just really looking forward to getting into this, wrapping up this series. And again, thank you for the beer, uh, Corey, and I really appreciate it. Ireland, yeah. you make some good brews. Let's uh, let's take a sniff of this one. All right. Now that's actually a little bit closer than one than what we're used to. Yeah, it, it's kind of has this caramel background, but I get yeah. a lot of tangerine. Yeah, I was gonna say like it's orange. orange, definitely orange a lot for of sure. Orange. A lot of citrusy, but definitely specifically orange, tangerine, clementine, mm -hmm. halos, cuties, <laughs> that line of of aromas. Really nice. I'm actually, it's, yeah, it's I'm very very uh, familiar, aromatic, but it's also very familiar for what we're used to. It's not the typical English IPA smell, Irish IPA smell that we've gotten to know from the first two. This one smells more typical American, and maybe that's uh, pandering to what we like. I don't know, but it's like concentrated yeah. candy. This is like someone took like orange syrup and just poured. I it in. almost wonder like if they brewed this with oranges. It doesn't say so, I don't think, but it's it definitely smells like it. it it's actually very, 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 very orange forward. Yeah, uh, and I think it's time to uh, take a sip. Yeah, see if it tastes orange forward as well. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like a bowling alley. It's like that cleaner that they use in your shoes. Lysol. Lysol. It, it tastes like like very medicinal Lysol. Citrusy, yes, but in a weird medicinal so, funk. It does have a certain orange glow, which is a brand they, of cleaner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Orange glow. Orange glow. G-L-O. Orange glow. Um, From the makers of OxyClean. Uh, SC Johnson Family Company. Uh, but you can, you can purchase it at Walmart or any family dollar. But it is... Definitely orange glow-ish esque, if you will. I don't know if it doesn't work, but it's definitely extremely prominent. Even sitting here, there's a lingering bitterness. Yeah. Now this, I would say, of all of them, is the most quote unquote flavorful because it's the strongest of all the flavors that we've had. I'm not so sure it's my favorite of all the flavors that we had. It's that medicinal thing just took took a, a bite out of all the like the good flavors out of it. You know what I mean? It, it started off and I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. And then it was like cloying, medicinal kind of aftertaste. It just did not sit well. So I wonder what they did. I mean, with the dry hopping, I wonder what that is in there that's causing that without doing any prior research. But it's definitely bitter in both good and bad ways. Uh, I think it has a nice bittering from the hops, but also it's sort of like harsh. I don't dislike it. I think it's kind of cool and I think it's kind of an interesting flavor, but... Of the three, I would say it's probably my least yeah. my least favorite. Yeah, um, and I'm already ready for a rating. I don't know if you are. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but I'm going going 75. Hops have such a unique, delicious flavor. For it to go somehow weird medicinal orange, I don't know how they did that, but it just doesn't sit well with me. 75, I wouldn't go search this one out. I mean, it's drinkable, but I wouldn't yeah. go search this one out. Yeah, I mean, I would give this probably closer to an 80. I'll go, I'll split the difference. I'll go 78. Uh, it's it's pretty good uh, in that it's interesting, very drinkable, very, if, if it sort of tastes and feels lighter. Um, but that, that flavor is not my favorite thing in the world. And I would say I, I would get it if I was at a bar and this was my craft option. Right, if this is my craft option to yeah. a bunch of macros, I could see myself ordering this one. Probably wouldn't go out and buy this one again myself personally, 
Definitely glad we had a chance to try it though, and nothing against this brewery. This just wasn't our thing. So yeah. uh, for us, kind of like a C plus this range. If you've had this beer or anything like this that you want to tell us about, put them in the comment section below. And until you do, always remember. We are the brew review crew. We will review a brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. Guys, did you like that review of this Irish beer? If you haven't checked out the other two videos in this series, make sure you click on this picture so you can get those videos. We've got mm -hmm. all different Ireland PAs. So pale ales, IPAs of all types, three of them. Check it out now.